Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the histology of the cardiac muscle. First of all, we will go to the identifying point. These are short cylindrical cells with branching pattern. We have branching and these are cylinders and centrally located nucleus. Nucleus is located centrally. This is the nucleus. If you go to the nucleus, there is a nucleus here. Usually one nucleus, but we may have two nucleus here, like this here. Okay. And cardiac muscles are less striated than the skeletal muscle. We have also striation here, but it is less than that of the skeletal muscle. And the cardiac muscle cells, cells are joined to one another by means of the intercalated disc. So intercalated disc is the junction between two cardiac muscle cells. This is the intercalated disc. So again, we have the branching pattern. We are seeing branching pattern here. Centrally located nucleus. This is a branching pattern here. This is a centrally located nucleus. And we have junction between the cell by a junctional complex. We call it intercalated disc. Only one nucleus in the center of the cylinder, but it, it may be more than one, two, two nucleus is also possible. At the side of the nucleus, we'll get the glycogen a source of energy. We have other source of energy like that of the triglyceride. And this muscle cells are rich in myoglobin and they have very rich capillary network around each muscle and it is supported by connective tissue we call it endomycium and we have the connective tissue between the muscle cell that is rich in blood vessels nerves and also the conducting system of the heart So if you go there, cardiac muscle, these are involuntary stated muscle located in the heart, in the middle layer of the heart. We know that heart has three layers, inside endocardium, then myocardium, then the epicardium. So heart is present in the myocardium and also it extends up to the proximal part of the pulmonary veins. We know that pulmonary veins opens into the left atrium. Cardiac muscles are arranged in layers separated by connective tissue containing blood vessel, nerve, and conducting system of the heart. Every cardiac muscle is surrounded by a rich network of capillaries. The cardiac muscle sense of atria contains atrial meteoritic peptide, also called, also it contains another peptide that is called brain meteoritic peptide that regulates the blood flow. It actually decrease the blood volume and it increases the amount of sodium in the urine. Intercalated discs are the junction between two cardiac muscle cells contain desmosome, fascia adherent and the gap junction. The conducting system of the heart that comprises the SA node, AV node, AV bundle and branches of the AV bundle and the Purkinje fibers. These are actually modified cardiac muscle cell. They are mostly for the impulse generation, not for contraction. Okay, so we we'll go there. Now, here, this is a longitudinal section of the cardiac muscle. We are seeing the branching pattern and we have the nucleus located centrally located At the side of the nucleus we have the collection of glycogen okay this is the nucleus here the nucleus this is the site of glycogen okay and this is the transverse section we are seeing centrally located nucleus here is centrally located nucleus this is again the glycogen that is close to the nucleus and this is the centrally located nucleus and each muscle cell is surrounded by the endomycium and certainly we have connective tissue in between the muscle cells that is rich in blood vessels, nerves. 
So intercalated disc, what are the components of intercalated disc? We have the desmosome, also called macula adherence, fascia adherence. We have the we have the fascia adherence here. Here is the fascia adherence, and we have the gap junction. Here is the gap junction. Okay, this is three dimensional image, and here this is two dimensional image. Okay, so intercalated disc the junction between two cell. We have the it is the transverse part is also getting attachment to the thin filament and on it is on the jet disc here the jet disc okay and this is the intercalated disc it it has component like desmosome fascia adherence and the gap junction okay so what is the organization of the cardiac muscle Cardiac muscle organization, if we look at that, we have the T tubule. These are the T tubules. T tubules are larger than that of the skeletal muscle cells. Okay. This is the T tubule. This is an extension of the sarcolemma here. And it is located at the Z line. Okay. This is the Z line, the location of the T tubule here. This is the T tubule. Sarcoplasmic reticulum is less expanded. This is the sarcoplasmic reticulum, less expanded, and it forms dyad, not the triad of skeletal muscle. This is dyad here. And the cisterns are not expanded like that of the skeletal muscle. Okay, so clinical application is there any regeneration of the cardiac muscle? Answer is no. Cardiac muscle has no regeneration. It has no satellite muscle cell. These are permanent cell. Once it is damaged, it is damaged forever. So if a person has myocardial infarction, there will be necrosis of cardiac muscle cell that will be replaced by the fibrous tissue, but never by cardiac muscle. So there is no regeneration. Hypertrophy of the cardiac muscle, this happens in hypertension or in any cause of peripheral vascular resistance, the ventricle attempt to pump blood against resistance, so it becomes hypertrophied. It's just the size of the cell will be increased. Okay, so again, the highlight identifying point how can I identify a cardiac muscle slide? It has cylindrical appearance, centrally located nucleus, branching pattern, and intercalated disc. What is intercalated disc? This is the intercellular junction that is composed of desmosome, so macula adherence, dunula adherence, or fascia adherence, and the gap junction. Okay, gap junction transmits the ion calcium ion so that our cardiac muscle is a functional syncytium and we also know that the cardiac muscle cells are actually have the autorhythmicity conducting system of the heart it comprises the SA node AV node bundle of his and the Purkinje fiber these are actually the modified cardiac muscle cells T table is an extension of this of the cell membrane or sarcolemma, okay, this is larger in the cardiac muscle than that of the skeletal muscle. Dyad, the T tubule along with the small cistern of the sarcoplasmic reticulum forms the dyad. Mitochondria, the car cardiac muscle cell has multiple mitochondria, actually numerous mitochondria, mitochondria for the energy, energy, but the source of energy in the cell is coming from the triglyceride and the glycogen and each of the cardiac muscle cell has numerous mitochondria we got the source of energy that is the triglyceride oxygen in the blood circulation and certainly the glycogen by the side of the nucleus and the cardiac muscle cell is rich in myoglobin for oxygen carrying capacity Differences between skeletal muscle, yes, cardiac muscle has only one nucleus, maybe two nucleus, 
that is centrally located skeletal muscle has multiple nucleus those are just at the periphery under the sarcolemma there is no branching pattern in the skeletal muscle cardiac muscle has, has branching pattern there is no intercalated disc in skeletal muscle cardiac muscle has intercalated disc okay these are my references and that's all about the histology of the cardiac muscle if you like my video please support my channel please subscribe me and please share the information with your friends and have a nice day bye now